Now, the person who was heckling General Kamar Javed Bajwa was uh, an Afghan immigrant who lives in France. Uh, you could hear the anger in the voice as he continued to rain expletives and anger uh, at General Bajwa. There's a lot of history there between Afghanistan and Pakistan that you saw in that tiny little clip that's gone completely viral. But that rage and that anger in many ways is perhaps understandable. And I want to get you a voice of someone from Afghanistan. Nilofar Ayubi is joining me live from Warsaw, Poland. She happens to be an Afghan journalist in exile. She lives in Poland just now. Uh, Nilofar, thank you very much for your time and for speaking to India today. You know, we're all watching this video clip, and I'm sure you've seen it as well, Nilofar, of the Pakistan, uh, you know, former army chief uh, being heckled, being shouted at, uh, uh, you know, being abused by this, uh, uh, this Afghan local, an unidentified Afghan, uh, you know, person in, uh, in, in France. What, what do you make of it? How do you explain it, Nilofa? What are your sentiments? Uh, thank you so much for having me. Um, first of all, if you ask me as an Afghan individual, as somebody who is currently in exile and had to leave everything behind because of the Taliban takeover, and of course because there was a huge help and support and involvement by the Pakistan government, and especially Pakistani military, um, as an Afghan, I think any one of us would be giving the same treatment to Pakistan officials who are involved in the current state of Afghanistan. But as mm. an activist and as a human rights defender, um, I think um, it was inappropriate, especially yeah. when the family was with him. And, 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 and we, do, we do not endorse or encourage any such acts against uh, um, an individual and their mm. families, when, when, especially when they're not in their position, right? Yes. But overall, if you take it, you know, it's, 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 it's the karma, it's, it's what you do and what you get. When you send 40 million people into chaos, into poverty, into war, and then a lot of us, like six, seven millions of us, was forced in exile and now living away from our home. We weren't even able to carry our own stuff. We were, yeah. we had to, you, you remember the airport scene in Afghanistan. So, so apparently this, this, this man, um, my Afghan brother, he has gone through the same humiliation and through the same pain. And that's what you see in this video. Yes. And he's clearly stating the facts that for 20 years, you sponsored Taliban against us. You sent terror to us. You endorsed Sharia and Jihad upon us while you and your family casually vacationing in Paris. And what you see him uh, talking about the appearance or the clothes or the attire her, 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 his, his daughter is wearing, which I'm very happy that he did not video the, 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 the children yes, because they absolutely. have nothing to do with this. But this is quite frustrating when, when you see this. Of course, um, this frustration goes way deep down into any Afghan um, heart and soul, but we do not endorse such uh, behaviors. Nilofa, thank you very much for joining us and thank you for being so honest. I agree with you uh, that, you know, heckling is not something we should endorse, especially with a family there, but there is a history to what this is. This is not just meaningless anger. There is a background to this anger and it comes really from the bottom of people's hearts. And that's the reason why we've decided to even show this story. We very much appreciate your time, Nilofa. Stay safe. Thank you very much for being with us here on India. Today. Thank you so much.